Dude, how many, come on. How many bees are there? 240,000. There's 243,000 bees. Okay. And I don't like one. Just one. You killed one. So I there's 239,000 more to go. 239,999. <laughs> Guys, go get some honey. Come on. I'm feeling bees everywhere. Hey guys, welcome to our next episode of Just the Basics with Greg and Tamman. Um, we're really talking about in this show how something so basic or something that you think is so basic is actually quite complex. So today we're talking about honey, and even right here there's so many different varietals of honey. So yeah. explain to me a little bit about honey, and I know you're really obsessed with bees, like. I'm obsessed with Beyonce, but, who's also but, like me. But like, what, 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 why is, are bees so important to us? We think that honey is what the bees are giving to us. It's actually the opposite. Honey is for a byproduct of the bees doing their main job, hmm. pollination. Right. Without that pollination, you don't have almonds and walnuts and berries, like raspberries and strawberries. You don't have melons, like watermelon and cantaloupes. You don't have cucumbers and basil and rosemary and marjoram, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So in the Time Magazine, what it said, the bees are kind of not, they might are. not be there. Uh, is that true? It's possible. I mean, it totally is possible. And then what? We've okay. been losing, and then we have to eat things like grits all the time and wheat and rice, and it's not wow. going to be the same. You know, so wind pollination was like Mother Nature's way of getting plants pollinated for millions of years. Right. And then she figured out a new efficient way trick an animal to come by with a sweet little treat like nectar, have it carry its pollen, go to another flower, and voila. So explain a little bit about, because I really want everyone to hear this, I spent a week at the Golden Door and you explained this to me about the queen bee, not Beyonce, the queen bee. Explain to me a little bit about her, why okay. she's so important and what happens um, with the other bees when she's not the Right, so you, you have a hive. Each hive can only have one queen. There can't be two queens, there's only one queen. That one queen doesn't actually make any decisions except for one. I lay a fertilized egg or an unfertilized egg. Yeah, okay. And she actually will live upwards of four years and she will only mate once in her lifetime with seven to 15 drones and collect all of the- A drone is a- A drone is a male. A male, I know. like that. And the bad thing for the males is that they mate with the queen and then they die. Their That's penis it. is full of- They, they do. <laughs> The penis gets stuck in the queen Suckers. when they mate, and does then he, it falls off. It blows he, up and it, it falls off. Well, does he know that his penis is going to fall off? I don't think he would be as enticed. No, okay. I don't think he does. No. I feel like that should be humans be. too, right? <laughs> I might be, be like, yeah, yeah, one time. <laughs> okay, so I feel bad for the boy bees, but whatever. It's the queen bee. Okay. It is. It is what it is. But so that queen, then she has to lay an egg every day, fifteen hundred okay. to two thousand eggs to keep that hive going. Is it no. like labor? Mm, I hope not. Okay. I mean, they haven't talked to you, so you wouldn't really know. But yeah, they haven't said anything. Okay. All right, so the rest of those bees, they're all worker bees. They're all females. Okay. And they are doing all the work. They're making the comb. They're making. They're collecting the nectar. They're collecting right. the pollen. But, you know, what I have here is actually a true honeycomb. This is right, just a minute ago, I went out, grabbed this from RVs. This is actually so honey in production. Isn't that amazing? I think the world and what the earth gives us and the animals around us is just so mind-boggling. And it's so beautiful and it's right outside and I don't think we take a lot into appreciation when it, when we don't really see how it's how it's done. I say we have done a very good job as a society of recognizing that bees are dying but what we haven't done a very good job of is recognizing exactly what that's going to end up being. That's going to end up being a hit to our healthy diet. Losing those oranges and lemons and the nuts and the berries and all the vegetables and fruits that are all pollinated by those animals. So. You know, every pound of honey that I have up here mm -hmm. took one and a half to two million flowers to make one and two one pound. Two million. You imagine to that? Make one pound for and us. It took ten thousand bees their entire lifetime to make one pound of honey. Visiting two million flowers, they would have traveled the distance nearly equivalent to twice around the globe. Isn't that amazing? And that's and just we for a pound. Bitch about working out. Correct. Jeez. All right. So okay. what I want you to do is I want to. We want to taste some of these honey. So first, this is fresh right now at this time of year. So. So Go ahead, just get in there. Stick my finger. What about my manicure? That would be fine. Oh my god, is that like a bee? That's no, it's not a bee. Ah, isn't that? Holy Lord Jesus. 
that's what it should taste like. So what happens when it gets to the supermarket? Why does it taste different? Well, the supermarket, when they buy is they buy big, gigantic things of honey. Mm -hmm. And that has been processed. It's been fined and filtered. It's, they've taken all like the pollen and things mm -hmm. out of it. And they have to heat it up. And when they heat it up, they heat it past that 107 degree mark. And that is where you end up losing all those good, uh, natural living things that are in the honey. Okay. So. All the enzymes, minerals. Exactly. Okay. Let's you want honey when it's raw. Do it again. Do it again. Raw honey is better honey because raw honey has more health benefits. Raw honey is going to be better for you in digestion. Mm -hmm. So all the other honey that you buy at the grocery store could also have been added. Like they could add corn syrup to it and and, and sugar water. And Why honey, would you want that? I don't eat meat. So is honey? I have. I eat byproducts of animals. But does honey? ever hurt the bees? Is it okay? Like some people say vegans shouldn't eat honey, so what's what's your advice? So one of the things is that our, we, our beekeeping nowadays is completely different from what it used to be. Right. And we do now collect almost all the honey that we can get mm -hmm. from these bees. And that would be like taking all of your food away from you from the winter time and substituting that with just chips. So then right. you would only get chips for the for your wintertime food. Right. Uh, that's not going to be healthy. Right. So taking all the honey away from the bees is not right. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the bees are left with some honey. And this is what a beekeeper should do. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the bees have enough honey to get them through the wintertime. So honey is their medicine. Okay. Honey is their complete food. It has enzymes like penicembrin used for the brain function. Penicembrin. Penicembrin. I hope say that's how you say it. <laughs> but you know what, honestly, the best thing about the honey is that if you just treat it more with respect, understand that that's two million flowers to make that one little tiny bear that you end up buying. That's incredible. So this is something that you talked about that I thought was really interesting. What happens when the queen is no longer fertile? Then what happens? Well, the worker bees will decide that she's no longer fertile. She's running out of fuel, essentially, and they will take her out. And then what? And then they'll make a new one. They'll go and what do they do? Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> back up, back up, back up. What do they do with her exactly? Uh, they'll most likely chew her wings off and take her outside the hive and leave her for. That's pretty, yeah. Pretty horrible. Sorry. And they just will they could they just put her on the side and like look after her? Sure, for a bit? they could. They but may they regulate won't. her down to the very far bottom corner of the hive and just protect her. Leave her there. She'll never be able to leave again. This is a horrible story. I'll give you another one. Is that if possibly? Well, she's going to be forced to lay the new queen's egg and then they're gonna treat all those bees and make the new queen. And then that new queen, her first duty really will be to go and dispatch the old queen, which could, which is gonna be her mother. It's a very beautiful story. Silence is deafening. Romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, why are these all different colors? Honey is a mixture of a season. Okay. Okay, so every one of these honeys is a different, has been made from different nectars from different flowers. Okay. So you literally have this beautiful painting of colors from the different times of the year. So each one of these colors is a different type of honey like from a different type of flower from a different type of season. That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? This one what is here your is, uh, out of all of this, probably this one. If I don't double dip, can I put this finger in? You can go ahead. That is a spun honey from Michigan. Yes. And it's spun, that's why it has that little cloudy look to it. The cloudiness is just because they take it and as they chill the honey, and they spin it and uh, this will end up keeping it from crystallizing. This honey over here is crystallized a little bit. Mm. That doesn't mean that it's bad. Honey is good for 3,000 years. 3,000. So if you have honey in your, in your cabinet and it's crystallized, don't throw it out. Just take it and warm it up with a little bit of warm water. If it's good honey. Yeah, if it's got all the crap in it. Yeah, well then. Throw you it know. out. Give, give it back to the bees. Give Put it, it out in a dish for the bees to finish. I'll get the good one and give him that one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this show today. Um, honey is really important in so many ways. It gives us minerals and enzymes, and it's good for your hair and your skin, oh. um, and it's good for health. So make sure you look into a little deeper um, what kind of honey that you're buying and what's in it and what the ingredients are. So thank you so much, Greg, for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. And we will see you guys next week. Subscribe, follow Greg Fry, and keep watching. See you then. What are you getting ready to do? I'm in a bee outfit to go see the bees. I just got stung by one bee and it hurts like a mother. And how many bees are in this area? Uh, about 220,000. <laughs> you joking? No, I'm serious. I'm out. <laughs>